Good morning, everybody. Uh, the last two mornings, this morning being one of them, um, while letting the chickens out of their coop uh, at sunlight, sunrise, I found an egg like this underneath the rooster bars. And as you can see, it's a very, very soft egg. Very soft egg, no eggshell. Um, you know, I guess you can call this an eggshell. Very, very soft. And it's probably gonna break any minute. Watch this. I'm gonna talk about this. See that? Very, very soft. And neither one of them were broken. Strong enough to fall from the rooster bar. Um, the, roost, the, the hen's most likely dropping the egg by accident. She either doesn't know it, it just falls out, or she let it go from there. Um, but uh, the, this is usually um, due to a chicken. Uh, here are the causes of, of, of soft eggs. It's like a little membrane on the outside of an egg. And the cause of this is either a stressful environment, a lack of vitamin D, a vitamin D deficiency, um, or, and that usually happens to chickens that are locked in coops that don't get sunlight, or uh, a calcium deficiency. And uh, our chickens are not stressed out. They actually, I built a, I built a run. I built a 50 foot long by 40 feet chicken yard uh, that they're fenced in. So they don't have total free ranging because uh, Bobcats got them last, last summer. Um, but now they still free range, but they're restricted uh, in a fenced yard. So they can't run anywhere on our acreage. Uh, so uh, the, I, I believe that after reevaluating my their diet, um, it's got to be calcium deficiency. So today I'm gonna buy some more oyster show, shells let me tap the GoPro camera. I'm going to buy some more oyster shells today and mix that in with their food and throw some on the ground for them. Um, the problem is, is which hen is doing this? Let me, let me, first of all, let me break this open. Watch this. Here we go. There we go. Watch this. This is cool. There it is. There's the egg, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't that weird? Now watch me squish it. Yeah, that thing might squirt all over my face. Uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Here it goes. I'm gonna, let me cover the camera and my face. Ooh, there it goes. Um, here's the what should have been a hard shell, but it's like a soft membrane. Um, that's still eatable. I can still eat that. Matter of fact, what I'm going to do is today I'm going to scramble some eggs because uh, I think protein has yeah has a lot to could be a deficiency too. So I'm going to scramble more eggs and feed them more eggs uh, this morning. That'll be that won't go to waste. I'll actually eat that scrambled with about ten other scrambled eggs because that's a good diet for your chickens. Uh, but you don't want them to eat one of these soft eggs because then they'll start enjoying to eat. They'll they'll realize they can eat their own eggs and then you have a problem. So you want to get these soft eggs out of there immediately. I actually check my 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 chicken coop three times a day to make sure I get all eggs out before the snakes eat them, and or before you give them the thought of eating their own eggs. So most likely, uh, my chickens are lacking. Oh, let me let me tell you this. Uh, I don't think they're all lacking. Um, I did inspect all of my hens, and 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 one of them, without even having to touch her or lift her up, she had a huge crop. It was massive. Very, very, very large. It was sticking out about, oh, without exaggeration, about three, um, three inches. And I picked her up and felt it, and her crop was compacted. It was hard. I squeezed that baby and massaged it for about oh, 25, 35 minutes last night before I went to bed. Hung her upside down. Held her by her feet. Held her upside down the entire time. Could not get her to vomit it up. I was tired, ready for bed. The only thing I didn't do that I should have done was was uh, put some water down her beak so that she would uh, that would encourage her to vomit up the compacted um, her compacted chest, her crop. But uh, anyways, I just went ahead and just put her back in the in the in the coop. Um, the other ones were already on their bars, and she jumped immediately jumped up on her on her rooster bar. And um, let me tap the camera, I can't see. And uh, so uh, this morning I woke up thinking I'm gonna have a stinky mess, because if it's a sour crop, as you know, they get, they get full of yeast and even bacteria, um, inside an, an infection inside the crop. Well, lo and behold, 
I only have two chickens of that particular breed, so it was easy to um, investigate and evaluate those two those two hens. Um, can't tell them. I couldn't tell which one had the crop because I don't see a crop visually. So I picked them both up, and I can't even tell which one had the the compacted. Very, I mean, it was like a like it was almost as hard as a softball, or I should say, a tennis ball, and um, it was gone. Both of those hens from that breed no longer had, neither one had a compacted large crop. So either she uh, digested it and pooped it out, or she vomited it out. And I didn't smell any sour uh, yeast infection in the coop when I cleaned it out this morning. So, uh, wow, that's a great success, success story. I've actually read articles. Of course, we had chickens in the 70s, actually the late 60s as a kid. And um, there's a lot you didn't know back then because we didn't have YouTube and the internet to do research. And uh, frankly, I've never bought a book on, on chickenology. Um, but uh, I've have read since the internet, I've obviously read other people's articles and watched other people's video videos. Um, and uh, it's, it's just really, a, really quite, a, quite a cool experience. But I'm going to scramble that along with a whole bunch of other eggs. Uh, that way I'll give them some more good protein. Today, while I'm out uh, doing evangelism at an event, Lord willing, I'm going to uh, uh, stop by the store and get some um, oyster shell. And I'm also going to put some vitamin D in their diet, and that will solve the problem. Now, when I've, I've watched these videos on the internet, and you'd be surprised how many people will actually take their chicken to the vet for a compacted crop. And sometimes they can't be, you can't um, expiate the crop. You can't get it out. It won't digest and they won't vomit it. And the worst case scenario is they actually have to surgically cut it open. Basically, the vet takes a knife and cuts open the chest and empties out the crop. And then they got to be stitched up. All right, imagine today, maybe even crazy glued up. I don't know. But uh, I am not one to take a chicken to a veterinarian. My dogs, absolutely. I've had them respond here uh, to care for a, a um, 16 to 1,800-pound black Angus that just that just calfed a calf, and, and she uh, got an infection in her uterus, and she was treated um, here on the homestead. Uh and um, what else have I had done by vets here? But I won't pay a vet to fix a chicken. <laughs> uh, that's that's when you just take the chicken and you harvest it and you enjoy a, a nice um, barbecue. Uh, I love our chickens, but not that much. But anyways, I wanted to share that with you. If you've never seen a soft shell before, thankfully, um, again, the crop is empty. Uh, they all seem to be doing well. And hopefully that'll be the last soft egg. Well, there might be there might be one or two in the next couple days because I don't have the calcium um, additional supplements in them. But I wanted to share that with y'all. You guys take care and take care. All right. Okay. What I did was I also crushed a whole finally crushed a whole bunch of shells in here. Um, and uh, put it in the scrambled eggs. But I want to feed these four over here, the four new ones. They need to be fed. What I did was I, uh, when I scrambled these, I crushed, finally crushed a whole bunch of eggshells in there too. And this will boost up their protein. The eggshells will help them. And then today I will go get some uh, oyster shells. This is, yeah, this, wow, that's, that's weird. The ones in my hand obviously cooled off, but the ones in the pan are still a little too warm. Good. The new the new babies over there are eating. I put those four babies out here at only five and a half weeks old. So many people say don't do that, but uh, had I had one hen that was kept picking on them, but I humbled her by 
pinning her down to the ground and forcing her into humility and then hanging her upside down for a while in my hand and she never picked on the babies again. Yeah, these ones are cooled off enough.